Are you a 27-year-old girl who cannot work out of the gym because she can't take a deep breath and she feels all twisted inside? What if I told you that I could take this young girl and make her feel younger and more relaxed than she has felt in over eight years in just one week? Check out the story. Celine, I am 27 and gotcha. I'm here locally. Gotcha. And uh, you found us on YouTube. Why? YouTube. I was Googling scoliosis, help with that, and breathing. And What about our channel kind of drew you in? Well, there was one specific video, so thank goodness. Um, she talked about her tinnitus and um, just, I can tell from one adjustment, you were helping a lot of people. And Perfect. I had a lot of ailments. Gotcha. I'm like, this must be Again, it. the funny thing is though, tell us about what you came in for. I asked you about what your pain yeah. was and what did you say to me? I was just uncomfortable because I um, had shallow breathing, shortness of breath, not being able to take in a full breath. Yeah. I haven't felt that way in a long time. And how long has, have you been suffering with this breathing issue? It's been in getting worse gradually for the past 10 years. Every day it makes me uncomfortable, but I think it got to a point where I'm like, if it, I know it's getting worse, but if it gets any more worse. Interesting. It's that's an interesting question. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So has it taken a step up recently? Yeah. Gosh, it's hit a point where I'm working out now and just doing a warm up, and I just feel my heart pounding out of my chest. Neck tension, right, right up here. Gotcha. Um, rotate hip or whatever. I think it is right. The hip, um, not being able to walk normally. Let's Gallbladder pain right here. She's gone right four times here, a year. Yeah. She gets it right. Four times a year. Just wrote it off as normal. They couldn't find anything at the doctors. No. Went to a specialist for that. Yeah. They couldn't find said anything, that right? everything was normal. I'm like I don't remember waking up feeling refreshed for a very long time, especially the past two years. Um, yeah. Just always. I could sleep for days because I wake up and I'm like, oh, I can go back to sleep because I'm so tired. Scoliosis. Tell about your scoliosis. I think it's postural scoliosis, just because everything is kind of turned in my rib cage. Oh, we even talked about your chest pain too. Yeah, so I just feel like everything's rotating inwards and yeah. just squeezing me. She went to two chiropractors, one didn't take x-rays. Correct. And one did, what's the other, what took what? He took like just this region. I'm like, oh no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And I you didn't want to take the rest of it, right? And yeah. so you came here knowing that what? What do I do in x-rays? You do x-rays, the whole thing. And whole thing, you, whole enchilada. Yeah. So anyways, do the whole thing because why? The whole thing is connected. So again, I think I think I could sum up this is that she's 27. She doesn't want to feel like she's 60. She wants to get back to do, living life. Yeah. Good, perfect. So. research I think because I felt like I started with a good alignment and then feeling the twist I'm like it must be a scoliosis so, so you just assumed it nobody told yeah, you correct this. oh correct. okay so I'm like <laughs> so this I'm, I'm she came in it's like a scoliosis 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 I'm like okay well I'm gonna see a scoliosis mm -hmm. by the way there is none Selena has 14 millimeter left imbalance and no scoliosis she has significant constipation but no scoliosis again here we have a high neck reversal one half atlas wear and compression of that atlas into the occiput pretty bad Confirmation of that constipation in this view. Bend over, touch your toes as best you can, and tell us about your back right now. So, um, lower back is immediately tight and sore on my knee area and calves. Gotcha, so tight and sore on yeah. a scale of one to 10, what is that tension you call it? Nine. In your back, nine, nine. Ten. gotcha, nine, ten, gotcha, mm -hmm. go like this. Gotcha, and so, Yeah, lower back again. Um, lower back again? Yep, nine. Yeah, what does your low back do to stop you? I mean, do you feel this every day? You feel it all the time, your low back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you, 75? <laughs> 27, yeah, I know. sadly. Jesus, I know. <laughs> That's go why I'm ahead, here. Go ahead and look at the ground, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about your neck there? Oh, yeah, immediately tight, so 10. 10? Got you. Look at the ceiling, please. There, too. I just feel like it stops, so 10. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So she's using t the 10 as a tension gauge. Let's squat to the ground, please. And tell us about your knees. Tell us your back. Your back. So knees immediately um, start turning here. It's tight, and then hips, too. Okay, Lower no, back. No. Yeah, huh? numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Knees, like 10, 9. Um, I feel it hips too, so it's like 9. And lower back's more like a 6 or 7 because gotcha. everything else is compensating. Come this way. Good. So was that what you expected? Is what you No, did? I really thought I was gonna see lights or something and feel like a tingling down my legs. But yeah, it just felt like an adjustment. You really good. Oof. Same thing? Yep, same thing. Perfect.
just helping Celine up here and going to show her how to sit and look straight ahead. Uh, don't twist and turn or what? You're going to undo my work. I'm going to have my son move here and get a better shot. So we're going to ask her how she's doing. Let's check in with Celine. No, I just really felt like more thorough adjustment than what I've had. Okay, cool. Sending Celine down the hall for many of you who already watch my channel know this is called recalibration. Let's see how it helps. Go ahead and bend up your toes. You know, that went down a lot smoother, but I still feel tension. Oh, that's actually, but I feel like it's wanting to stretch down more. Again, what's the number? But, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it I know all this stuff. We're just trying to communicate to the camera. Yeah, it's a seven. Seven, so it's better, mm -hmm. right? Like this. That was a lot better. That was a... That was a 10 minute ago. <laughs> it's like a six, seven. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go and look at the ground, please. This is me just wasting one. time, guys. I don't Ooh, really care what I watch. Feel my neck. Yeah. That one's still a nine. A nine, really? Okay, nine, interesting. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. Or that one. Feels like a nine. Still a nine. Yeah. Okay, I'm surprised at that. Okay, let's check the big one here. Spread your feet a little bit. Okay, that's squat again. <laughs> so knees is like a seven, six. Mm -hmm. Actually, that one down. I still feel tightness in the hips, so I don't know. It's nine. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And the back. Back is. That was a six before, I think. Yeah, it's like a. Five. Five, four. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, last one, we forgot to do this on camera. Um, yeah. Come a little closer. Take a deep breath. Well, we did this earlier, and I, I really have to like force breath. Yeah, 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 but what about now? So now it's like a five, six. And what was it before? I'm sorry. It was feeling like a nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. So this is better, right? Yeah. And how long have you had trouble breathing? Oh, pff, it's been so long. Yeah. It's eight years. Walking, I noticed um, my stance was a little bit, I guess, wider because it kind of it was softer steps, right? So usually when I'm walking, it's a thud. So that was nice. Oh yeah, so I went home. So I did my walk, went home though, had to work. So I'm sitting at my desk and that's when you start seeing like the tightness in my back again, um, neck. And I'm like, oh yeah, this because I do this a lot, right? So everything's coming yeah, back. We call it muscle memory, but yep. anyways. And then she, her walk started getting tight again. So, yeah. but all the pain's pretty much back. I'm gonna say it's all back to where it was. Um, she did do uh, a favor for me and she took a video of how she works and so I wanted to just kind of put this out here so you guys can see that um, I have people take videos and the reason we do this is so I can see how she does things so because biomechanically I want to see how she performs things that hurt her and so right yesterday right off the bat I knew it was her desk because she works so diligently so she brought me that so if you guys come out here and you have issues make sure you take videos of yourself at home Good. This way. Come this way. Beautiful. Why don't you tell us what you learned in the last couple hours here? Yeah, so mainly ape hands, right? Learning the stance and how to walk and slow it down. But what I thought was slouching is actually a very relaxed position for my body. And so it wasn't as bad. You took the photos you showed me. So hopefully we now show her that she can help herself. So not had success when she sleeps still really messed up so I go okay take some pictures and so she took video and so we were laughing just a minute ago because we just we previewed this and she goes she sleeps all over the freaking place <laughs> and so and so I'm gonna ask her to send this to me but if you can see that right now she's just a flipper a flopper and so um, and I told her she's like five foot that that queen size bed looks like a king size so, bed <laughs> technically a king <laughs> yeah, technically a king when you're that size so the big things for her is that she's doing wrong Get off your stomach! I know. It's Stop so sleeping on your stomach! I know, it's so bad. Good. So if you know it's bad, why do you do it? It's the only position where I feel kind of comfortable. Okay, good. So you're going to stop. And so I showed you your atlas and how it's all worn out. The yeah. reason you do that, the reason it's so worn out even more than most people, is because when you sleep on your stomach, it yeah. grinds that bone. Mm -hmm. Even more so. And the way you flip and flop and flip and flop, you do it all night long. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things I've learned is how to adjust my posture, so it's helped me a lot to give me something to do when I'm sitting down, so I don't feel that pain and tension in my neck as much. Same mm -hmm. thing with walking, it feels a lot more fluid. A lot more fluid? Yeah. So uh, let's give you some kind of idea how much better do you think you are, just in general sense. We don't need to break down everything in a general mm -hmm. sense from the beginning of this week to now. Yeah. Um, like Just like you said, I was hoping to see more, but there has been improvement regardless. There's like. 10%, 20, I would 30. Say, yeah, I'll say between 10 and 20. Uh, your left neck pain. Oh, I don't know. That was now one of your major things. Yeah. No, I still feel tension. 
But how much better is it? <laughs> I, you know, when you said left tension, I'm like, oh, was it my left side? Because now I just I have left neck. Right. Yeah. So how it's, much better? I don't, just don't skeptical I don't feel person. It. <laughs> I exactly. Don't feel so it was a hundred percent better. Hundred percent better. Exactly. So low back pain. That's the what is that? It was the tightness. Um, how much better is that? That one, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say. There are times when we work on it, I feel immediately we're just like Fair enough. Just 20 give me to, that, I, yeah, just 20 give me to right 40%. About 24%? Mm -hmm. That's good, perfect. How about knees? Knees? Knees are, knees are good. I don't feel pain, so I would put it at like how many, how much percent better? Whatever, yeah. It's just whatever you think. Um, almost 100%. Overall 15%, even though I've taken away her neck pain, her low back pain, her <laughs> knee pain. But it's fine. We'll just say 15%. <laughs> Good. Okay. Good. Oh, frick, I felt that one. Yeah, yep. And there we go. Woo! Wow. Okay. So go ahead and bend over touch toes, please. How much pain in your back there? Scale uh, one to It's good. It's a two. Two. Go ahead and stand up. Back like this, please. How about that one? Lower back is a. Three. Three. Put your arms down. Look at the floor, please. How about that one? Neck. Oh. Still feeling the neck, which is a six. Six. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, ceiling, please. How about that one? I don't know if I'm just sore or. <laughs> it's good. It's, I yeah. want to just get the truth. Yeah. Just want to see where you're at. There's progression yes, definitely. Like a we six can see too. it. Gotcha. Yeah. And now uh, squat, please. Okay. So the knees, the hips, and the back. Knees are two. And then <laughs> lower back is a two. And the hips. And then hips. Hips are good. Hips are two. Okay, stand up. Okay, so I'm gonna sit because this is pretty much our height. This is now. now I'm the right. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually level. better. I'm like now I have to look down. 